Hello, and welcome back to my channel, Handmade Crafts by LaSalle K. Ooh, <laughs> how is everyone? I hope everyone is well. I wish everyone much abundance, prosperity. You know, I, I hope y'all have great health. I just hope everything is going well. So yes, thank you for joining me today. If you are subscribed, thank you. Thank you for coming back and viewing my antics. <laughs> and if you're not subscribed, I welcome you to join the Handmade Crafts by LaSalle K family. We are an informative bunch. So yeah. So you know, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell everybody. So yeah. So today, First of all, the sun is just peeking out the clouds, so that's what I was looking at. But anyway, today I wanted to talk about the gemstones that I use making, you know, waist beads, ankle bracelets, or um, necklaces. So yes, I wanted to share some information about the gemstones, the, um, the vibrations it give off, the energies it give off, and everything like that. I only use, right now I'm only using a few, so I'm not using a lot. So I start off with a few, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about eight of them. So yeah, this stuff, this information you can find on Google. I can tell you my own personal experiences with some of the gemstones that I use, that I, um, you know, I wear right now for myself. But the information I'm reading to you, you can find on Google, you know, so I don't want y'all to think I know everything about these because I don't. I just did my research. So, yeah. Anyway, please like, share, subscribe, comment, and thank you for everybody that's been commenting and liking and everything else, showing support. I appreciate it. You know, I read the comments. I answer. So... Yes, I appreciate it very, very much. So let's get started. So the first, first of all, let me knock this real quick because I didn't even know this was open like that. And I don't want my bees to come on, so yeah. The first one we're gonna start with, that's on my list here, because I do have my list, my list. So this paper right here, whenever somebody orders, some um, gemstone waist beads. I provide them with this information. I highlight which beads they have so they know what it's good for. And um, I personally like to do that because that information everyone doesn't know and it's helpful to have so you know about your gemstones. So, yeah. Okay. The first one I have is amethyst. So, I have two types of amethyst here. One is more of a, I don't know, like a, cause I mean, they all technically kind of rocks, but it's more mm, shaped. They're more shaped. I, I can see that. Oops. Sorry. Yeah, they're more shaped. So um, these I use or well, as you, okay, before I say all that, as you can see, they come in different hues. So amethyst is known for its like purplish, reddish hue, like a wine color hue. Um, there's a, a myth about why is it that color. I'm not gonna go over the myth, but it's a myth about why is it that color. So, you know, they come in different hues like this. So this one, if you can see here, it just fell. That hue right there, I hope you can see it. You know, it has that reddish color in it. So, yeah. The other amethyst that I have are these. So, these are more like oval kind of shape. So, these are like, these are like bougie rocks. Like, <laughs> they just, they found them in the mine and just, made them all shiny and stuff so yeah these are more like shaped and they're like oval shaped so i use these as well thing about these they don't fit that um 
that cord, the wax cotton cord that I've been telling people and promoting to get. So that's all right, because all you have to do is buy a bigger B. So um, I actually forgot what size the, these beads are, because they came on the string. I forgot what size, so yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about, oh, oh no, I put that up there. So amethyst, amethyst. It can bring you tranquility to your mind, your crown chakra. Um, it helps block, you know, electromagnetic frequencies. So for example, like Wi-Fi, that's a big one, Wi-Fi. And the TV and the lights and stuff in your house, it helps block that. Um, it also helps with stress and it also can foster negativity, you know, um, it can aid in maintaining your physical health. Yes, so I personally, I love amethyst and um, that's a good stone to have, whether you have it on a waist beat or just the little rock, amethyst is the bomb. So the next one is my favorite, one of my favorites, I should say, is jade. So I have two jades here. Sorry for the noise. I like to keep them in the package because, you know, they're gemstones and people use them. So you don't want the energy to transfer, even if it's just sitting in the room, you know? So I keep it in the pack. Bear with me. So I have here, let me ask this one. This is African Jade, okay? This is African Jade. And this can probably fit, no, I don't think so. I don't think it'll fit that. Well, some of them can fit the cotton cord, I believe, but all you have to do is buy a bigger B with the hole. And this is regular J. So this one actually fits that cotton cord because I made a lace B with these. And um, this one doesn't. So you see African, J, and J. So when I did my research, I pretty much seen like jade, this is just jade. So even though this is African jade and this is the regular jade, um, it kind of like said the same thing. So jade gemstones is a symbol of um, serenity and purity. Bear with me, I'm reading off of this. Um, it, it's protective, it definitely is protective. It keeps you from harm, it keeps you in harmony, it attracts good luck and friendship. It can soothe the mind, release the negative thoughts. It can stimulate ideas. It's a dream stone and brings you insightful dreams. It releases emotional stress, especially irritability. Um, it aids in the body's filtration system and you know the filtration of organs. Um, it helps with kidney problems. It helps with glands. It can remove toxins, which plays a part in the filtration. And it rebinds the skeletal and cellular system. I didn't know that I just read that. And it heals stitches. Oh, okay. I just read that too. And also it assists with fertility and childbirth. So my experiences with Jade it has brought me money. It has brought me um, protective, like it protects me. So it has brought me protection, I should say. And I personally, I love Jade. That's one of the stones that I really, really love. Like, yeah, Jade has brought me a lot of blessings and such. And such. So really when a customer orders waist beads and the gemstone waist beads and they wasn't particular on what stone they want, I give them jade because automatically jade is going to help you and is going to protect you and bring you many blessings, especially money. <laughs> yeah, you know, we need, we need that. Bring that money. So this is what I have since we are on jade. This is what I have for a waist bead. So this, this is a waist bead I made with jade and Quartz crystal. Let me roll it up real quick. So white is white, and you see this little pattern. And you see 
the pores basically. So that's my one of my jade waist beads that I sell. And um here's another jade waist bead. Whoops, that I sell. Somebody with a smaller waist. So that's turquoise and it's just straight jade. So yeah. That's Jade. The next one, oh, the next one is one of my favorites too. Clear Quartz Crystal. So I have two here. This one I make the necklaces with. So you see how the length and stuff. So I like to make necklaces with this one. And this one I make waist beads with, as you've seen with the, with the white. White waist bead. Also have it on this um soda light waist bead. So quartz clear quartz crystal is dope. I I really I like this one too. I love clear quartz crystal. So let me tell you, it's considered a um, master healer. It Okay, so it amplifies energy by absorbing, uh, absorbing it, storing it, releasing it, and reg and, and regulating it. I'm gonna explain all this to you. And um, it aids in concentration, memory. It is oh, it stimulates the immune system and and, and it balances out the entire body. Um, I'm kind of nervous, so that's why I'm all over the place. But yes, now this stone right when you put it next to another gemstone um for example this is soda light we didn't get there yet but this soda light waste bead i add the quartz the clear quartz crystal it amplifies the energies of this stone so me personally i just i wear it with another stone or i will wear it plain because it has its own benefits it's not just the amplifier also has its own benefits and personally it, it has helped me out a lot um especially with like concentration and just regulating the different energies in my body so i really love like clear quartz crystal because it does this thing and i also have like the little stones around you know just to have that energy keep flowing so yes that's a good one to have they all good ones to have but for me that's a good one to have so the next one which i like i like moonstone moonstone now i will link everything you see here in the description box so i'll link it all below so this is moonstone and i like moonstone because it just looks so nice. Like when you, when the light hit it in a certain way, it looks kind of bluish, like unicorn. It kind of looks like unicorn. And I just, I like that. But I also like, I like his energy too. It's real calming for me, Moonstone. So I don't have no Moonstone beads here, like waist beads, but let me tell you this out. So Moonstone is a stone for new beginnings. Um, especially for inner growth and strength. It can soothe emotional instability, stress, and stabilize emotion, providing calmness. It is also, it also enhances intuition, promotes um, inspiration, success, and good fortune in love and also business matters. So when I have, because I also have a stone that I set as moonstone in, just to have it around, I feel more calm. Just by touching this, I feel really, really calm. So maybe I should leave this here because I said I was nervous a little bit. So leave that there. But Moonstone, definitely get you some of that. Uh, the next one, Paradox. Paradox. Yes. So <laughs> these, I think I messed up when I bought these to a certain extent because um they're so small and then not only are they so small like the little holes if you could i don't think you could see that but they break easily they break easily so um 
I stopped using this because I had to buy a bigger one and like a bigger bead. So if, honestly, if I was to use it again, it'll be for necklaces, period. Not even waist beads, just necklaces with the clasp on it because it, it has done well with that. But waist beading, the holes are too small, they're easy to break. However, Paradox period is a good stone. I like that stone. So let's read on about it. So it increases strength and vitality in people. It can have a common effect on its wearer. Um, it increases strength and reduce anxiety. It's known for healing on the liver and gallbladder. It is um, a good healer of diseases related to lungs, breast, and intestinal tract, spleen, and lymph, the lymph noids. That's probably not what it's at, but anyway. The lymph noids, the lymph, okay? Deal with me. So, <laughs> it also the stone of love and is known to foster love. And yeah, that's what I like about Paradox, about Paridot. Um, the love aspect of it yeah, is it's beautiful, it's dope. And um, it has the power to manifest money as well and other good things in your life. They are so loud. So yes, it's, it's a good stone to have as well. It, it really is. Like when I have this, you know, this around me too, it calms me down. Brings me some luck too. Um, so now, soda light. Don't mind them. They be double parked out here, so don't mind them. Soda light. All of these I got from, um, what you call that place? That's bad, right? <laughs> Fire Mountain Gems. There you go. Fire Mountain Gems. All of the stones except for these, I purchased at the B Craft Store downtown, which everything will be linked in the description box. So this is Sodalite. I like Sodalite, Sodalite. Sodalite, yeah, I, I like Sodalite. It has, bring me, it has brought me just cool, calm, and collectiveness. I have this as a waist bead, and I also have it as a necklace. I don't have it on today, but this is a good stone to have. That's another one of my favorites. So, oh, do I have, sorry, real quick. I showed you this earlier, but this is a waist bead I have with soda light on it and um, quartz crystal. You can see that. Quartz. Crystal. Clear quartz crystal. I say quartz crystal for short. So, soda light gemstone. It enhances self esteem. Yes, it does. Um, self acceptance and self trust. It also balances the metabolism, boosts immunity system, overcomes cal calcium deficiencies. Um, Oh, the thing I love most about this, it, let me read it. It can combat radiation damage by soaking up elect, electrum, elect, <laughs> electromagnetic, electromagnetic, electromagnetic small. Electromagnetic, I promise you I can read. I got a bachelor's degree in psychology. So that's what it does, right? And that's what I like the most about this stone because it absorbs that that energy, um, like like I said before, from like the TV, Wi-Fi, um, the lights, and like stuff like that. You know, we tend to keep Wi-Fi on in our houses all the time. We never unplug it and cut it off. And so having this around you and wearing it, it protects you from that energy. So, um, I really, really like this stone and I keep some under my pillow. I also, you know, I have my waist beads, my necklaces, like I said, and I just try to keep that stone on me because it protects you from a lot of this man-made energy. You know what I mean? So, yes. Let me see, do I have some more of this? Sure do. I have some Garnet here. Garnet. 
I love me some Garnet. I, this is one another one of my favorite stones, Garnet. This I can and I have used in the cotton wax cord um, waist bead. I made myself a waist bead from this. And um, the hole was big enough. So yeah, this is Garnet. This is actually a dark red. I don't think you can really see that. So it kind of looks black on the camera. But yeah, so Garnet. The benefits of Garnet is an energizing stone. It's often used in manifestation purposes and is worn um, as a talisman for good luck. Yeah. Um, in addition, it brings vitality, high energy, protection, also builds self confidence, clar clar clarify one's life purpose. So, yes, I have experienced high energy, protection, um, self confidence, and manifestation of my purposes. I love this stone. So this is another one of my favorite stones. I also have some Garnet earrings that I didn't make, I purchased, and I put those on, and you know, you can meditate, you can meditate, and you should meditate with all your stones. You should also meditate with your waist beads and whatever beaded thing you have on you. And um, even this, this has amethyst in it. So you should meditate with it and set your purposes even after the fact if it's tied on. So, um, I meditate with them and yeah, you know, it, it's powerful. All these stones I showed you is powerful and I recommend everyone to get them. So now, so new to the family is Onyx, Black Onyx. Sorry for the noise. Now, I don't want to take it all out like that. Okay, here it go. Black Onyx right now this one in the african jade i usually use for my men's collection of necklaces uh oh i'm just putting this stuff back in the camera don't mind but i usually these two i usually use for my men's collection because you know men like big stuff like big bulky jewelry and stuff so it's not that big but it's good enough so that's what I use that for. So jade, because somebody, a customer, a woman, she might want some waist beads and jade. So I will kindly give it to her, sell it to her. So, you know, jade is a powerful protection stone. Um, jade, oh my God, sorry, black onyx. Black onyx, black onyx. I'm so excited. So I have to go on Google for this. We're talking about black onyx. So black onyx is a powerful protection stone. It also, um, it, it, how can I put this? It absorbs and transforms negative energy. Um, so, you know, if a person, you're around a person who's like negative and stuff like that, and you know how negative energy tends to cling on to you, it will transform it into a positive energy. So it yeah, it helps to prevent the drain of your energy. So G, G, black onyx, black onyx is dope. It also aids in emotional and physical strength, stamina, development, and um, it's, it supports you during times of stress, confusion, or grief. So J, Sorry, black onyx. <laughs> that J vibration coming in strong. Black onyx. Black onyx. Um, that's an excellent stone to have. So you should get you some black onyx. You should get you some jade as well. I've mentioned you again, jade. And you know, every stone that I showed you today. So please... Forgive me for my all over the placeness. I was actually very hyped and excited to show you this video because a lot of people been asking about the, the stones, what they do and everything. So I figured this would be a good video to have, especially if you're purchasing some of my gemstone jewelry. So yes, I'm gonna show you this again. <laughs> Not even fixed, right? 
she all over the place. Here it is. This is the cotton, Merce size cotton. Believe it or not, people still ask for it, and I'm still beating with it. So, you know. Here goes some beads, waist beads. Jade, soda light, and jade with clear quartz crystal. Yes. I did it. Thank you. <laughs> So anyway, thank you for sticking with me for this long. I know this is a lot of information. I wanted to get it out there. I appreciate y'all for watching. You know, I pray that y'all just have a blessed day, a blessed week, a blessed month. Whenever I see you again, whenever you see this video, I just hope you're in a blessed space, okay? Thank you so much. I shall see you later and peace.